selling all my clothes. So after four months of quite possibly the hottest and most annoying summer that I have ever experienced in my entire life, it's finally getting kind of cold in Texas. So I went to pull out all the winter clothes in my closet and I realized that I hated absolutely every single piece of clothing that I owned. So like any sensible person, I decided that today we are going to sell every single piece of clothing that I own and replace it with a bunch of thrifted items because I am too poor to get anything else. So I filled up two trash bags full of all my winter clothes and we are about to head to the thrift store to see what we got. Also, I actually have this little camera right here that I stole from my parents' house, and I really wanna test it out because I found out yesterday that you can actually record in HD on this little point and shoot. So we're about to head to the thrift store and all the footage is going to be on this little camera that has nine minutes and 41 seconds of video taking capabilities. <laughs> Okay, it's been a couple weeks since the last clip, I'm not gonna lie. I spent the last week and a half shopping. I didn't get, obviously, like my entire closet back. Dude, there was a lot of clothes, okay? I'm trying to move uh, across the country soon. So I'm just, I'm keeping it short, okay? I'm keeping it small, not short. Uh, I'm short. I'm not short. I'm 5'9". I'm average height. Moving on. We're starting with a t-shirt because it's, I still live in Austin and it's not that cold. It's actually kind of getting cold finally. It's like 60 degrees today, which is kind of crazy. We got the Charlotte Hornets vintage t-shirt. This is not like a new Hornets tee. This is definitely at least like 10 to 15 years old. I just really like it. Everything about it, like the detailing on it, the stitching, the little rip in the middle that I, uh, I'm kind of okay with because I think it adds texture to the t-shirt. The way it's printed too is like very old school vibes and just, I love this shirt. My grandma would be so proud of me if she saw me. RIP. I don't know how to wear cardigans, but I got it for like five bucks and I thought it was really clean. It's really nice. It's a Lacoste Izod cardigan. I still don't know how I'm going to wear this. I've had clothes that I've bought that I've wanted to like learn how to wear and I just don't put them on for a year, a year and a half until I'm like confident enough to wear it. But one day... I will wear this. And then we got the essentials. First up, we got the puffer jacket. It's literally perfect. I have nothing more to say about this and I cannot wear to wear, wait to wear this all the time because I'm not gonna stop wearing this. I, I love this so much. And I feel like a road man. I don't know what a road man means. Let me Google that. Someone who's usually a young man who spends a lot of time on the streets and may sell drugs. Moving on, speaking of the UK, we got a rugby shirt. I think they play rugby in the UK. This is a rugby jacket, not a shirt. I don't know what I'm saying. It's like a slightly different soccer coat. I don't know how to explain it. I've genuinely not seen a coat like this. So when I saw this, I just caught my eye and it's also black, which if you can't tell is my favorite thing to wear at all times. <laughs> Continuing on the trend of um, only black things. I also got a Carhartt knit sweater. I think this is just a sweater. I don't think it's knitted. I really like the texture on it. The cut at the bottom is really nice. This is exactly my style. Now moving on to the pants. First up, I got a motocross uh, pair of pants because I like weird pants. I like anything that looks different that I can just throw a black tee on. I really like the blue. The brand is Thor. I'm probably gonna wear these once or twice and never again. Uh, they don't have pockets, so they're not really like sustainably usable pants. I just really like them and they were also just like 15 bucks, so I bought them. Continuing on the trend with weird pants, I also got these hockey pants. Again, I like weird pants that don't make any sense. These also don't have any pockets, so they're very minimal wear, but they look cool and I like putting them on with like racing tees and stuff. Now to the normal pants. We got baggy pant number one. These are just amazing, sick baggy pants that I'm probably gonna wear every single day. They're a little too big on me, I think. Yeah, their size, the waist is 34, the length is 30. So I have to wear a belt every time I put them on, but the length is perfect. I wear 30 by 30. I'm really skinny, if you haven't noticed, maybe 29 by 30 even, I'm gonna be honest with you. These might be my favorite pants ever. Um, They are purple. I've never seen purple jeans. These are Liz Claiborne women's jeans. They are a size 12. I don't know what that means, but I've noticed that like, that's what I wear in women's. So just to give you an idea of how skinny I am, I can fit into women's jeans pretty easily. Anyway, these are just really sick and honestly becoming my favorite 
favorite pants that I'm wearing way too much. And you actually saw me put these on at the beginning of the video. I thrifted them a couple weeks before I decided to make this video. And then I finally got the chance to wear them. And last but not least, one more purple. These are nylon purple pants. I, I love these as well. Purple and black are my two favorite colors, if you haven't noticed. And then I try to splash in things like red, even though I don't really know how to wear red. Or like green, I like wearing too. And then yellow. Speaking of yellow, there's actually one more t-shirt that I forgot. This is a streetwear brand that I just learned about called Carpet, where they do like really cool like Arabic stuff. Um, it's not actually Arabic writing. It's like Arabic English, if that makes sense, where they take words that are in English, but write them in the Arabic alphabet. And it doesn't actually make any sense in Arabic. It's just an English word written in Arabic. I got this shirt because I thought it was really sick and I wanted to wear, uh, I wanted to have some color. You know what I mean? I don't want to be dark and depressing all the time. <laughs>